The Large Hadron Collider will reopen today after three years of being shut down for improvements. 16 miles in circumference underneath Geneva. Mm -hmm. We accelerate protons, which are these simple particles, to 99.999999% of speed of light. Have you ever wondered about the mysteries hidden within the world's most advanced scientific experiments? Well, a recent development at CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, has left scientists baffled and the public intrigued. Renowned physicist Brian Cox has revealed that something horrible just happened at CERN. Each slice was brought through from there, from that hole up there, 100 meters, and installed here. That no one can explain. This occurrence, described as profoundly perplexing, has left both the scientific community and curious minds around the globe in suspense. It is our largest collider in the world. Which secret experiment went terribly wrong, surpassing the limits of human understanding? Join in to comprehend the enigmatic event that just happened at CERN that no one can explain. The Cosmic Time Machine. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, nestled beneath the Franco-Swiss borders, stands as a pinnacle of scientific achievement, a circular titan stretching across an astounding 17 miles in circumference, comprising a complex network of superconducting magnets. At its core, the LHC is engineered to accelerate particles beyond the scope of human vision. These minuscule entities, invisible to the naked eye, hold within them the secrets of the universe's fundamental composition. Within the confines of this immense ring, scientists delve into the mysterious world of tiny particles, unraveling enigmas that have confounded the scientific community for ages. Arguably its most illustrious feat, the discovery of the Higgs boson, often hailed as the God particle, stands as a hallmark achievement in particle physics. The Higgs boson's unearthing marked the final final puzzle piece in the standard model of particle physics, a comprehensive framework elucidating the elemental constituents of the cosmos. Recent revelations stemming from experiments at CERN, spearheaded by luminaries like Brian Cox, have sent ripples through the scientific fraternity. These groundbreaking findings, characterized by their shocking and perplexing nature, have left researchers grappling with new questions and challenges. The significance of the LHC transcends mere particle discovery. It orchestrates a spectacle of unparalleled scientific exploration. Its true marvel lies in its ability to recreate conditions akin to those that existed in the aftermath of the Big Bang. This cataclysmic event, postulated as the genesis of our universe, birthed the cosmic expanse we inhabit today. By propelling particles to velocities approaching the speed of light and colliding them with incredible force, the LHC emulates the primordial environment of the universe's nascent stages. These high-energy collisions offer humanity a fleeting glimpse into the cosmic infancy, a vantage point from which to observe and comprehend the universe's embryonic state. Imagine the LHC as a figurative time machine, catapulting humanity back to the cosmic dawn, enabling us to witness the formative moments of existence. This extraordinary capability empowers scientists to decipher the origins, dynamics, and evolution of the universe, transcending the limitations of our present understanding. In the aftermath of the ravages of World War II, amid a world still reeling from the shocks of conflict. A cadre of visionary scientists harbored an audacious aspiration. Their collective ambition envisioned a sanctuary where the supremacy of knowledge would reign supreme, where the debris of war would yield to the harmonious pursuit of collaboration and enlightenment. This bold aspiration materialized in CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research. Conceived in 1954, CERN transcended the conventional definition of a laboratory. It emerged as a beacon of optimism, an emblematic testament to humanity's capacity for collective achievement in pursuit of a noble cause. It served as a symbolic oasis, fostering an environment where collective brilliance coalesced in the pursuit of scientific inquiry. Over the ensuing decades, CERN burgeoned from a post-war conceptualization into an unrivaled juggernaut within the domain of particle physics. Its evolution stands as a testament to the triumphant synergy that emerges when disparate minds converge with a shared objective to unravel the enigmatic fabric of the universe. At its epicenter lies the veritable crown jewel, the LHC, a testament to CERN's evolution and unwavering significance. This prodigious edifice of scientific ingenuity serves as an unparalleled conduit for validating theoretical conjectures, interrogating established dogmas, and ceaselessly stretching the boundaries of scientific cognition. 
What originated as a union of a handful of nations in pursuit of scientific advancement has burgeoned into an alliance encompassing 23 member states and a consortium of thousands of scientists. CERN stands as a testament to the unifying power of science, transcending geopolitical boundaries and linguistic barriers in the relentless pursuit of truth. CERN's narrative is adorned with a litany of prodigious achievements, etched indelibly in the annals of physics. From the unveiling of hitherto unknown particles to the incubation of technologies with far-reaching implications beyond the confines of laboratory walls, CERN's odyssey has been relentless in the pursuit of knowledge. The symphony of superconducting magnets in the LHC. At the core of the Large Hadron Collider's marvel lie its magnetic systems and intricate cooling apparatus, elements far removed from conventional everyday magnets or air conditioning units. Superconducting magnets, the bedrock of the collider's operation, stand as the linchpin of this colossal scientific apparatus. Spanning a labyrinthine network within the collider's infrastructure, these magnets, numbering in the thousands, wield diverse functions. Some coerce particles along their trajectory while others compress them augmenting the likelihood of high-impact collisions. Distinguished by their superconducting nature, these magnets boast an exceptional ability to conduct electricity devoid of resistance. However, this remarkable trait only manifests under extreme frigidity. Hence, the indispensable role of the cooling systems comes into play, maintaining these magnets at an astonishing temperature of minus 456 degrees Fahrenheit, a chilling environment even colder than the vast expanse of outer space. This bone-chilling temperature isn't arbitrary. It's a pivotal requisite for the magnets to attain a superconducting state, enabling them to operate with unparalleled efficiency. In this cryogenic realm, these magnets orchestrate an intricate ballet, steering and propelling particles along the Large Hadron Collider's colossal ring with remarkable precision. When envisioning the Large Hadron Collider, envisage an immense sub-zero ring, a veritable testament to scientific ingenuity, wherein these superconducting magnets harmonize their efforts to propel particles at velocities nearing the speed of light. It's this fusion of colossal scale, cryogenic temperatures, and magnetic precision that elevates the LHC beyond mere engineering marvels. Instead, it emerges as a symphony of scientific orchestration, where each constituent, in perfect synchrony, contributes to a grand scientific endeavor. This amalgamation of scientific components endows the Large Hadron Collider with an unprecedented capacity to unveil the profound mysteries veiled within the cosmos. Its recent revelation has reverberated across the scientific landscape, fundamentally reshaping our comprehension of contemporary physics. Renowned in the scientific community, Brian Cox stands as a prominent figure due to his former association with CERN and his profound involvement in the discoveries made at the LHC. His recent disclosure, sparking waves of intrigue and concern among scientists, has elevated his presence once again. Cox made headlines by revealing an unexpected and potentially worrisome observation at CERN, a development that has left even seasoned researchers pondering. The crux of this revelation centers on the replication of the big Big Bang within the confines of the LHC, a feat that holds vast implications for the understanding of our universe's origins. This breakthrough experiment opens avenues previously uncharted in the scientific realm, promising unprecedented insights into the genesis of our cosmos. Nevertheless, Cox and others within the scientific community have expressed a palpable sense of alarm alongside their enthusiasm. The prospect of replicating such colossal cosmic events raises profound concerns about unforeseen consequences. At the heart of this concern lies the inherent risks tied to exploring uncharted scientific territories. The LHC, a colossal particle accelerator, delves into realms of energy and particles that, until relatively recently, existed primarily as theoretical constructs. This experimentation entails manipulating the fundamental constituents of the universe, akin to opening a door into the unknown without a clear comprehension of what lies on the other side. While the prevailing consensus among scientists leans toward the safety of these experiments, the nature of groundbreaking scientific exploration carries an inherent element of uncertainty. As Cox and his peers emphasize, venturing into such uncharted scientific territories involves a degree of risk that cannot be entirely foreseen or eliminated. The potential ramifications of the LHC's experiments extend beyond theoretical 
theoretical constructs. These high-scale endeavors possess the capability to unravel the secrets concealed within the fabric of the cosmos, shedding light on the intricate mechanisms that set the stage for the birth of the universe. However, the exhilaration of these prospects is juxtaposed with the weight of apprehension surrounding their unforeseen consequences. The apprehension voiced by Cox and others mirrors a common sentiment within the scientific community. The delicate balance between scientific curiosity and apprehension regarding the potential perils of tampering with the very essence of the universe. The LHC's unprecedented ability to probe the fundamental structure of existence holds immense promise, yet it stands as a testament to the formidable challenges and uncertainties that accompany such groundbreaking scientific endeavors. Despite the meticulous precautions and stringent safety measures implemented by researchers at CERN, the uncertainty looms large. The unforeseeable nature of manipulating energies and particles at scales previously unimaginable introduces an element of risk that cannot be overlooked. Essentially what's happened is, is a lot of energy has been hurled at the Earth uh, from the Sun. CERN's Cosmic Experiment and the Mandela Effect the potential risks associated with high-energy physics and experimentation in the scientific realm are underscored by a notable incident involving Russian scientist Anatoly Bogorsky in 1978. While not directly linked to CERN's activities, Bogorsky's encounter with a proton beam serves as a stark reminder of the dangers inherent in working with powerful particle accelerators. Accidentally exposing his head to the proton beam, Bogorsky miraculously survived the incident, but it left him with severe injuries, a testament to the formidable forces at play in such environments. The dangers associated with particle accelerators extend beyond individual incidents to theoretical concerns, such as the creation of miniature black holes. The collisions within the LHC have sparked speculation about the potential formation of these enigmatic entities. Despite sounding like a scenario from a science fiction narrative, scientists assure that any such black holes, if formed, would be inherently unstable and likely to evaporate almost instantly due to Hawking radiation. While the probability of a stable and dangerous black hole materializing is astronomically low, the mere contemplation of such a possibility elicits a blend of awe and apprehension within the scientific community. The scientific reaction to Brian Cox's revelation mirrors this mix of intrigue and concern. The potential replication of the Big Bang within the LHC has sparked a curiosity about its implications for particle physics and our comprehension of the universe. Yet, the cautious undertone in the scientific discourse reveal a collective awareness of the unpredictable nature of high-energy physics. In this realm, the unknown can be akin to opening a Pandora's box, holding both the promise of groundbreaking discoveries and the potential for unforeseen consequences. The dichotomy between excitement and caution is a familiar theme in scientific exploration, especially when on the brink of potential breakthroughs. Scientists worldwide are eagerly awaiting more information, poised to decipher the intricacies of Cox's announcement and unravel its implications for the future of particle physics. Some point after that, it was expanding and cooling, and something crystallized or condensed out into empty space. In academic circles and research labs, discussions are abuzz with speculation about the nature of this mysterious finding, highlighting the collaborative and dynamic nature of scientific inquiry. As the scientific community navigates the uncharted territories unveiled by Cox's revelation, it grapples with the delicate balance between between pushing the boundaries of knowledge and mitigating potential risks. The pursuit of understanding the fundamental building blocks of the universe involves not only unraveling mysteries, but also navigating the uncertainties that accompany such explorations. The intersection of excitement and caution in the scientific discourse serves as a testament to the conscientious approach required when delving into the unknown, ensuring that the pursuit of knowledge is tempered with a keen awareness of the potential challenges that may arise. The Mandela Effect an intriguing anomaly where groups of people collectively remember events inaccurately echoes far beyond individual memory lapses. This phenomenon, famously linked to the erroneous belief in Nelson Mandela's death in the 1980s rather than his passing in 2013, hints at the intricacies of our cognitive recollections stretching across a larger societal canvas. Now imagine the bold explorations underway at CERN, particularly within the mammoth Large Hadron Collider. Amongst the scientific community, 
community, whispers speculate that these high-energy experiments might be more than mere probing into subatomic realms. Some daringly entertain the idea that these endeavors could be stirring ripples in the fabric of reality itself. It is our largest collider in the world. It's a fanciful notion. Envision CERN's colossal machinery as capable of creating infinitesimal cracks or portals to parallel universes. Though speculative, this concept tantalizes the imagination, suggesting a cosmic symphony where our world may intersect with alternate realities, causing a unique intertwining of experiences. The intrigue deepens as this hypothetical narrative weaves into the Mandela Effect's enigma. Could CERN, unknowingly, catalyze an intermingling of memories across these intersecting dimensions? Is it plausible that glimpses into alternate historical narratives from parallel universes inadvertently infiltrate our collective consciousness, manifesting as the perplexing Mandela effect? However, a crucial distinction must be made. These musings reside squarely within the realm of speculation and theoretical contemplation. Scientists at CERN are not actively pursuing the puncturing of other universes, and tangible evidence supporting these ideas remains elusive. Yet, what if there's more to the Mandela effect than a mere quirk of human memory? Enter string theory, an intricate composition suggesting that the universe's fundamental components aren't minuscule particles, but infinitesimally small vibrating strings strings. These strings, akin to cosmic instruments, reverberate and dictate the manifestation of various particles, each string playing its unique cosmic melody. Behind me is a place that could be on the verge of solving one of the biggest mysteries in the universe. Parallel universes and cosmic threads. String theory, a captivating symphony of cosmic threads, not only paints a vivid picture of vibrating strings shaping our universe, but also suggests a tantalizing prospect. Parallel dimensions, realms beyond our conventional three-dimensional understanding. These extra dimensions, according to string theory, might harbor the enigmatic territories of parallel universes, existing as distinct layers in a cosmic confection, akin to a multi-layered cake. Imagine our universe as merely one stratum among numerous others, each occupying a separate dimension that eludes our easy access. These layers, distinct universes coexisting alongside ours, remain shrouded from our direct perception, residing in dimensions beyond our tangible reach. While this concept is theoretical, string theory furnishes us with a framework to contemplate their potential existence, a grand cosmic puzzle waiting to be unraveled. However, it's crucial to underscore the speculative nature of these ideas. These extra dimensions and parallel universes remain unseen, existing within the realm of theoretical musings rather than empirical observation. String theory acts as a guiding light in our quest to comprehend this intricate cosmic fabric, offering a theoretical avenue to probe into the enigmatic realms beyond our conventional understanding. In this pursuit, scientists, including those at CERN, venture into uncharted territories, seeking evidence that could bridge the gap between theory and reality. It's a thrilling, yet daunting endeavor. A quest to decipher the cosmic mysteries that have intrigued humanity for ages. Among the myriad of cosmic enigmas, CERN delves into the concept of hidden dimensions. Gravity, a fundamental force shaping the cosmic ballet, will reopen today after three years of being shut down for improvements, remains a profound mystery despite our advancements. While we comprehend its operational mechanisms, keeping celestial bodies in orbit, its underlying essence remains an elusive puzzle. Enter the the daring speculation within the scientific community, a notion that gravity might have an intricate connection with these concealed dimensions. This hypothesis, not confined to science fiction but rooted in scientific inquiry, proposes that gravity might transcend the limitations of our familiar three-dimensional space. This concept suggests that gravity might extend beyond our perceptible dimensions, hinting at a profound interplay between this fundamental force and hidden dimensions. Consider these hidden dimensions as minuscule layers coiled and tucked away from our discerning eyes. In this unseen realm, gravity, the force that keeps us grounded, might be playing a clandestine game. Unlike other forces, gravity's weakness could stem from its diffusion across dimensions beyond our awareness. Imagine it as the frosting that subtly spreads over the entire cake, making its impact less pronounced on our layer. 
Enter the stage, the Large Hadron Collider at CERN, a technological marvel akin to a cosmic detective tool. Its mission is to delve into the secrets of these concealed dimensions. Should the scientists at CERN uncover evidence of these hidden realms, it has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of physics. Picture it as stumbling upon a secret room in your home, a discovery that reshapes the very foundations of your known space. The excitement brews not only from the prospect of hidden dimensions, but extends to the fundamental mysteries of physics, particularly the enigma of gravity. While gravity is a familiar force, its peculiar behavior compared to other forces remains an unsolved puzzle. CERN's exploration hints at the possibility that gravity, our constant companion, might be the key to unlocking entirely new facets of the universe. CERN's Cosmic Revelations and Ethical Considerations as the curtain lifts on one cosmic mystery, another captivating phenomenon takes center stage at CERN, quantum entanglement. Dive into the infinitesimally small world of quantum particles, where two particles share an inexplicable connection. Imagine the magic of two dice, so entwined that if one shows a six, the other, regardless of distance, mirrors the result simultaneously. How does CERN weave its magic into the narrative of quantum entanglement? The answer lies in the colossal power of the Large Hadron Collider. By propelling particles at mind-boggling speeds and colliding them in controlled chaos, scientists at CERN create conditions conducive to studying and experimenting with quantum entanglement. The significance of this exploration extends beyond the quantum realm, holding the potential to unravel profound mysteries about space, time, and perhaps even undiscovered dimensions. Think of it as assembling a cosmic puzzle with missing pieces. Quantum entanglement emerges as a promising tool to bridge the gaps, offering insights into the interconnected nature of space and time. The experiments at CERN become a cosmic laboratory, where clues about the intricate weaving of the fabric of the universe emerge. Could there be dimensions concealed from our sight, waiting to be unveiled through the study of quantum entanglement? Quantum entanglement might seem like a wild ride through the unknown, but the research unfolding at CERN holds the keys to unlocking cosmic secrets that have barely grazed our understanding. Beyond its celestial quests, CERN's influence ripples far beyond the intricate realm of particle physics. This scientific colossus has birthed remarkable technological marvels that touch our daily lives. Take positron emission tomography scans, for instance, a medical milestone in disease detection, especially for conditions like cancer. These machines utilize the principles of particle physics to paint intricate pictures of our inner workings. The very technology saving lives in hospitals emerged from the same crucible where scientists peer into the universe's mysteries. Yet the grandest surprise from CERN resides in our pockets, the World Wide Web. Yes, the Internet's inception owes its roots to CERN. In 1989, Tim Berners-Lee, to facilitate global scientific collaboration, crafted the initial blueprint of the World Wide Web. Little did he know, this invention would blossom into the Internet, reshaping how we communicate, work, and entertain ourselves. From digital shopping sprees to binge-watching, the web has woven itself into the fabric of our existence, transforming our world. While CERN's primary pursuit revolves around particle physics and cosmic voyages, its impact spans diverse landscapes. From medical technology that aids in diagnoses to the digital revolution that has altered how we live, work, and interact, CERN's influence permeates our daily routines. The unexpected synergy between probing the cosmos and reshaping our everyday lives underscores the magic of discovery. However, the exhilarating pursuit of knowledge at CERN isn't devoid of risks or ethical ponderings. As boundaries in physics stretch, so do the responsibilities that accompany such powerful discoveries. Balancing the thrill of unraveling the unknown with the awareness of potential implications underscores the delicate dance of progress and caution. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Brian Cox reveals something horrible just happened at CERN that no one can explain. This revelation follows the emergence of a disconcerting photograph depicting an unusual event within the expansive tunnels of the renowned Large Hadron Collider. The picture displayed a powerful surge of energy running through the huge machinery, worrying the people who built it. This unsettling sight made scientists worldwide uneasy. Rumors quickly spread. 
suggesting a looming danger. The once praised LHC was now seen as something to fear. Over time, many theories came up. Some thought the LHC might have accidentally affected reality, opening doors to other dimensions. Others talked about a catastrophic event that could unravel the universe itself, hinting at a possible doomsday. The world watched nervously. Scientists, curious and cautious, went into the LHC to study data and run experiments. They hoped to find answers that could change how we understand life and even influence the fate of the universe. Do you think the LHC could pose a serious threat to humanity's survival? Share your thoughts in the comments. LHC's Bounty of New Particle Discoveries In 2017, the LHC made some thrilling discoveries based on the wealth of data it had gathered in 2016. These breakthroughs centered on unraveling the mysteries of the Higgs boson, a particle crucial in providing mass to other particles. Scientists delved deeper into studying the behavior of the Higgs boson, enhancing their understanding of its characteristics. Furthermore, they significantly refined the accuracy of several other findings derived from this data. Over recent years, the experiments conducted at the LHC have unveiled a remarkable tally of 59 newly identified particles known as hadrons. These revelations emerged from scrutinizing the information amassed during the initial two operational periods of the collider. Among these remarkable findings was the sighting of a fresh variety of pentaquarks, a particle composed of specific arrangements of quarks, which captured considerable attention in the scientific community. Over time, the outcomes from experiments in particle physics often show diminishing returns. To combat this trend, scientists have devised plans to upgrade the LHC, aiming to bolster its capabilities. This upgrade called the High Luminosity Large Hadron Collider kicked off in 2018 with the primary goal of amplifying the machine's luminosity. By doing so, this enhancement will significantly heighten the prospects of detecting rare processes and conducting more precise measurements. The ongoing third run of the LHC, slated to conclude in late 2025, represents an intermediate phase in this upgrade process. The initial run of the collider notably led to the discovery of the Higgs boson, while the subsequent run concentrated on scrutinizing how the Higgs boson decays. Now the third run strives to double the volume of collected data accumulated thus far. Following the conclusion of the third run, an interim period of preparation is anticipated, potentially extending until 2029. Then, the fully revamped LHC will recommence operations, witnessing collisions occurring at a rate 10 times higher than before. The subsequent fourth run, projected to persist until 2042, anticipates amassing an enormous dataset, nearly 10 times larger than what is anticipated after the third run. This concerted effort stands to revolutionize our understanding of particle physics by delving into uncharted territories with unprecedented precision and exploration. The LHC's operation involves smashing protons together at exceedingly high energies and meticulously recording the aftermath of these collisions for thorough analysis. Protons are the preferred particles for these experiments due to their manageable nature and ease of manipulation. However, these protons aren't the smallest units themselves. They are composite particles composed of tinier constituents called quarks, held together by particles known as gluons, which mediate the strong nuclear force. To comprehend the collisions occurring within the LHC, envision protons as bags filled with an assortment of components quarks, gluons, and even heavier particles like W and Z bosons. When two protons collide, it's akin to rupturing these bags of assorted contents, leading to a reconfiguration where the particles inside rearrange themselves into new forms, such as protons, peons, and other recognizable particles. At times, the collision involves just two quarks or gluons directly impacting each other, transferring their energies among themselves or even to the heavier particles. Scientists scrutinize and dissect these collisions to gain insights into the laws governing nature at incredibly minute distances. With each batch of data amassed by the LHC, experiments accumulate increasingly extensive samples of these infrequent reactions. Researchers are hopeful that with the continued accumulation of data, they will eventually assemble enough occurrences to present compelling and incontrovertible evidence of groundbreaking discoveries, unveiling previously unseen aspects of the universe's fundamental makeup. Finding and managing the data from these rare collisions is an enormous challenge. The LHC witnesses around 40 million proton collisions every second, and within each collision, 
there could be 50 or more individual proton-proton interactions. The data collected from the detectors, portraying these collisions, is stored permanently. Each image is nearly 20 times larger than a typical photo taken with a smartphone. Just storing the evidence from one second of LHC operation would generate a database of a million gigabytes. To handle this colossal data volume, the LHC experiments rely on a trigger system. This system comprises a cluster of computer processors that selectively pick a few hundred collisions per second for permanent recording. Physicists then delve into this chosen data for analysis. Despite this selective process, the LHC experiments already constitute one of the most extensive computer databases worldwide. Future Circular Collider The primary aim of the LHC is to unearth new elementary particles that could present evidence for previously unseen fundamental interactions. Some of these hypothetical particles might be heavy and decay into groupings of quarks and leptons, showcasing incredibly high energy. However, scientists don't anticipate discovering such particles during the upcoming Run 3 of the LHC. At most, these experiments might unveil some intriguing statistical indications and offer suggestive visual representations of events with unique characteristics. The subsequent phase, the high-luminosity LHC in Run 4 and beyond, is anticipated to validate these indications and potentially lead to further significant discoveries. The search for particles linked to dark matter remains a key focus for scientists. These elusive particles, produced through weak and electromagnetic interactions, are challenging to detect due to their low rates compared to stronger interactions. To overcome this hurdle, researchers are scouting for visible particles that react or move in response to the unseen emissions of dark matter particles. This pursuit aligns with Newton's third law, where every action prompts an equal and opposite reaction. However, many models suggest that the companions of dark matter particles emit only faint amounts of visible energy, resulting in minimal recoil signals often missed by the experiment's triggers. Anticipated improvements in the trigger systems for the upcoming Run 3 experiments aim to address this issue. These enhancements are poised to expand the range for detecting these subtle signals and facilitate capturing rare events where the recoiling particles become more visible. In essence, these upgraded triggers will enable detectors to better recognize and capture these elusive signals. These advancements hold significant promise for the ATLAS and CMS experiments heightening their ability to identify these signals and collect more data, thereby bolstering the quest to uncover new particles associated with dark matter. It's an exciting opportunity to deepen our comprehension of the universe and shed light on one of modern physics' greatest mysteries. Did you know that the European Organization for Nuclear Research isn't solely renowned for the Large Hadron Collider? They're also spearheading ambitious plans for a future circular collider, potentially the most potent particle accelerator ever constructed. Though still in its early design phase, this collider could revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos. However, erecting this future circular collider will be an immense endeavor, estimated to cost between 9 and 21 billion euros. Yet not everyone is convinced of its merit as an investment. Some, like theoretical physicist Sabine Hosenfelder, suggest that redirecting such vast funds toward other ambitious projects, like a major radio telescope on the moon's far side, or launching a gravitational wave detector into orbit might be more beneficial. While these alternate projects present intriguing possibilities, it's crucial to note that CERN's current flagship accelerator, the LHC, is still active. Its third run is yet to conclude, gearing up for a fourth. These forthcoming runs are expected to significantly contribute to our understanding of particle physics. However, amidst these scientific leaps, Intriguing questions about the potential consequences of using the world's most powerful particle accelerator arise. Could it harbor extreme substances like black holes, posing risks to Earth or even the universe's existence? Scientists have made remarkable discoveries with the LHC, yet concerns persist about potential risks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.